Do you want to see a grown man have a panic attack? Ha! That was me today, man. My son almost fell off the chair. I screamed so loud. So I've had this energy, and the last video you saw, I was cleaning the basement. This is day 24, actually. 23, non-eventful. Getting bored. Getting bored with uh, the carrot, celery, apple. Um, I have the same ingredients I just bought. I'm coming back from Trader Joe's just now. I was gonna run to uh, the health food store to grab some lemon juice, but I bought a bunch of limes, so. I'm gonna juice up the limes and uh, make a little uh, master cleanse with the limes. I got this maple syrup infused with ghost pepper extract. Got a little booze in there, but so little, it don't matter. I'm dying to try that, so I'm gonna do the maple syrup, uh, ghost pepper extract, uh, with the cayenne pepper, with the lime juice, and of course my distilled water, that's gonna be delicious, so. I'm gonna party with that a little bit. I'm gonna do the, uh, I still have the carrots and the apples, and I, I yeah. I mean, look, it's, it's keeping me, flying high, you know? And I had the green, I had those giant green bags, those mixed bags from Costco. They're like five dollars for like five pounds. It's so ridiculous. And I'm always uh, blending those and, and, and uh, you know, straining. So those are, those are like, that's my key green, you know? I've been, I've been real simple. I've been using the Bravo. You know, I've been I've been super simple right now. Uh, I, I I um am focused on uh, decluttering still. A lot of decluttering in the house, you know. So this is what happened. So I'm under the stairs now. I had a problem with my roof. I had water coming through the roof a lot, and we were always on top of it. Every time the basement got water, we the Brought down a dehumidifier. We got all the water up in the air. We uh, we mopped it up, and we we always cleaned it up. Except this one little spot that was under the stairs that I had a bunch of paintings there, a bunch of canvases, right? So as I'm cleaning, I'm like, all right, getting under the stairs, you know, all pumped up, taking the taking the paintings out, and I'm like, oh, I gotta hang this, I gotta hang that, you know. I dabble in some paint. The, the the kids have some stuff that I wanted to hang up. You know, it's a lot of stuff that I wanted to like. Just excited about cleaning the basement. I pull out the the bottom one, the second to the last one, and I'm like, ooh, you could. It it felt like it was falling apart, and I'm like, oh no. And I seen all the mold like around the wood. So I knew we were in deep, deep trouble there. Then I grabbed the last one, and that's the one that's again, that's flat on the floor, on top of the rug. Well, let me tell you something. I picked that baby up, and I'm sliding it off. I'm, I pick it up, and I'm moving it towards me, and I see a streak in the rug. And I'm like, what is that? Almost like the rug was alive. I'm like, oh no. And then I look at the bottom of the painting. Black. All black. It was like friggin... Oh my god. 50 billion black mold spores everywhere. I don't know how much it inhaled. I don't know if it's toxic. I know, you know, you gotta be precautious. I dropped the paint and I ran out. Ah! I'm like, pure panic mode. I go back in the garage, I get the gloves, I get the mask, I get the dust mask. I don't know if it helped. I went down there, I grabbed the painting. 
I, I, I ran outside. I put it in a bag. I called up my sister. I was like, Vicky, help me. Because Vicky, my, my sister's gung-ho. She don't give a shit, man. She just jump in there. What do you got? You got toxic waste? I got it. I'm like, Vic, there's mold under the stairs. She came down and just hit it hard with bleach. So the thing is soaked right now in bleach. And I think I'm just going to call up Stanley Steamer and just have him come down and clean the rug. I don't feel like ripping it up. I know it's something I should do right now, but I, I, oh, I can't even, I can't. Moldy Jones. And I'm too, I'm so clean right now and so efficient and so feeling good. I mean, even my tooth, my tooth is good today. I'm swallowing, oh, I feel good. I can't be, I can't be swimming in mold spores. Oh, come on, man. It's getting dark early. I got so much crap in my backyard right now that I just dumped everything. Because my sister's like, listen, you better clean up this basement, this area before I start bleaching. So I had to go down there and not only grab the painting, but I'm down there with the dust mask, grabbing, grabbing everything, just throwing it in the yard, you know? So now you got a yard filled with crap. I'm back at it again. Trader Joe's. You can't beat this deal. You know, I love orange juice, man. Mmm. I'm assuming I could live off this for a solid year. I'm thinking. Just orange juice. I don't know. What do you think? Day 25. Yeah, so I ran to Home Depot and I bought this mold aside. And uh, my sister bleached it last night. Now she went down there with the mold aside. She just sprayed, she used the whole can. So it's sitting on there. And then I'm gonna call up Stanley Steamer. And he's gonna come heat that baby up and clean it all up. And I think we'll be all right, okay? The basement looks good, you know? Except for that little area that we had to bump into. Um, I gotta go outside and clean. You seen the picture. I got filth everywhere. Um, I think I'm alright. I don't have any weird effects. I don't feel like I'm, I feel like I'm good, right? I feel like the mold is not toxic. Heard that? Putting it out there. Heard it? Thank you. So, we're good, we're good. Uh, my sister's crazy though, man, she loves it. She's like, ah, what do you got, what do you got? I'm cleaning up. It's so funny, like, I think about the mold. I, I think about, like, you know, my, my fears. I'm so ridiculous, I'm, I'm talking about, like, me and my sister and how opposite we are, like, how ridiculous she is, like, not a care in the world. And I envy that so much. I've, I grew up around fear. Like my whole life has been, has always had this fear of, of everything. You know, and it's so weird. It's definitely so much better than it was because you don't understand. Like, I guess in my teenagers, I was like afraid of AIDS and and then like, I was af I'm always, always afraid of cancer and then like Jeff dying and everything. I was like, this is it, you know? But then when I found this life, a lot of that anxiety, that fear went away. Uh, that I have control now. Cause I always felt like I wasn't in control. Now I have control, you know? And I have more knowledge than ever before because I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. It's like, oh my God, like things I didn't know, you know? So it was, it's real nice to take the blindfolders off. I mean, I know it's scary as crap to take the blindfolders off because I didn't realize how deep the rabbit hole is, but the rabbit hole is quite deep. Uh, I mean, it, it stems, I mean, You look down that hole, you're looking at Thailand. I mean, I, you know, I'm in New York City. That, that hole is to Thailand. And, um, I mean, almost to the point where 
when Lauren Lopman puts up these videos like, I'm selling pieces of my land in Costa Rica, I just want to go. I just want to go live amongst us raw foodians and just paradise to the end. I mean, I, I, that's the only thing I could think of, like right now, like, if Dan McDonald said, I, I have, I, I bought a piece of property in Hawaii, this is all mine, and, and I, I, I want to sublease these plots, I'm telling you, I'd pack. I'd bring my underwear, and I'd just run out there. I might not even bring my underwear, I'll get arrested. I'll get arrested, I'll run out there naked. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's 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 where I want to be. That's how deep this rabbit hole is, you know, if you really want to get into it. But yeah, it was always fear. It was always fear that just that just uh was crazy, but uh I don't know. Uh I feel good. Um I'm rocking and rolling. And uh today's day 25. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go clean. I'm gonna go clean more. I'm telling you, I'm minimalizing hard. Declutter, 2018. I've been doing it all year, little by little. And now that I'm fasting, I have so much energy. It's just ridiculous. So every uh, scoop of that power, I am decluttering away. Uh, you don't realize the stuff that accumulates. You don't. You don't. I mean, it's just amazing. And I've done so much already, and I'm still, look at my backyard. Look, I've done so much already, and it's still everywhere. Stuff is everywhere. Oh, okay, so uh, my sister's gotta get her talk, car towed. I gotta help her out a little bit, and uh, yo, peace, love, Road Food City, baby, we're doing it, rockin' and rollin'. Bye-bye. I just had a great thought. I was like, I have all these Facebook friends. Most of them were associations from my business. Um, band members and, you know, people I met once. Recently, people I haven't met. Getting a lot of likes, a lot of friends. Um, I don't accept everybody. I just, some of them, well, obviously, the, the obvious ones, where you just see the made up, you know, girl profile. I'm sure the girls on also get made up boy profiles that wanna hang out and do whatever. Perfect timing. Sorry about that. Oh, I just had that hot pepper. I'm, my nose is like dripping. But I thought about it. I was like, you know what? There was a time where I was um, promoting Blue Vein Production, which my comedy channel. Don't watch it. But the link is below. Don't watch it. <laughs> There's a lot of madness. This is, was uh, the beginning of my raw food journey, and I really needed to... And I was working the graveyard shift. I was losing my mind. I'm funny at heart. I really am. I, I enjoy making people laugh. And I just... Snapchat at the time came out with this feature where you could change your face. Oh, man. I had so much fun with characters with Blue Vein Production. But I thought about it. I was like, you know, I was sending everyone a birthday method, message with my stomach out. I was promoting Blue Vein Production at the same time while, so I was thinking about doing that with Raw Food City. It makes total sense. So I was sitting there, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, you know what? Let me just start wishing all these people a happy birthday and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. If you wouldn't mind liking my page, because when you, a lot of times when you ask people to like your page, I'm sure it just flies up their uh, list and then they never see it, you know? Um, your close friends, obviously, will like it and stuff like that. But, like, people that you don't really know. I think if you send them an, a good message saying, Hey, like my page. If you like what I'm doing, spread the word. So I'm going to do the work. I'm going to do the work. 
I think it's worth it. Again, that's what it's all about. It's to get getting that one person and hitting that ten percent mark on a plant based diet. I'm telling you, once we hit that ten percent mark and we start healing ourselves, the system will fall. So it's all about getting to that ten percent. And if that if I have to do if I have to roll through three thousand people every day, make seven birthday videos and that's what I'm gonna do. Ha, 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 ha.